when I began photographing, the idea of photographing strangers was very uncomfortable for me. And then I started traveling more, and I started traveling independently. And when you're traveling by yourself, you're talking to more people. And I learned how open people are. And I, you know, had my camera, of course, and so I started to photograph those experiences, and it opened the whole world for me. I'm Jennifer Davidson, and I'm a National Geographic photo expert. We're visiting the Caribbean coast of Panama and Colombia, and it's been a wonderful experience. We have been visiting different islands and different cultures and have received a very warm welcome to each of them. Because of Colombia's history with the guerrilla war in the 90s, travelers have been hesitant to come. But in fact, it's a fantastic place to visit and a safe place to visit. And because Colombians haven't received the amount of visitors that other places have, they are genuinely excited to have visitors come and experience the place that they live and their culture and what makes life special for them. One of the things that's really interesting about this itinerary is that we're moving between a small area geographically, but there are so many cultures living in these different areas. One day we're visiting an indigenous community where they're making these hats that, that is really what this area is known for. That ultimately came from Spanish influence. And then the next day we're further up the coast and you're in a community that has a strong African influence. And so you have a melting pot there. The architecture has been quite different too. We visited places where there are fortresses that were made by the Spanish. We have seen Republican buildings and colonial buildings. We visited Lorica where there's a Lebanese influence in the architecture. And of course there's the architecture of the Panama Canal too. The culture is very vibrant. The music, the food, it's all just really wonderful. I think it's really important that photography is a collaboration when you're photographing people. It's not me taking a picture of a person. It's the two of us creating something together. I seek people out that I'm genuinely interested in how they live and in something about them, and, and I start with conversation, and then I use the camera as a means to connect with them. And then I can photograph them in action, and that's when you can get the natural photographs that are in close, and it looks like they're not aware of you when they are. And that's one thing that's really beautiful about digital photography, is we have the back of the camera that we can share the image with the person. And so I always try to share that with them. So as a photo instructor on these trips, I have the privilege of giving instruction about different ways of seeing and different things to think about when people are using their cameras or their phones. I go out on the walks and help people with their images and with seeing the setting that's in front of them a little bit differently. I think the power in creating great photographs is in how you see. Hopefully they come home with better pictures because of the instruction that they get in the moment.